Inside this maximum security prison in Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown, masked gunmen are freeing many inmates. Some of them are wearing military fatigue, others civilian clothes. As the detainees flee, security forces exchange fire with what the government described as renegade soldiers trying to destabilize the country. Resident Victor Edwin says he hasn't seen so much violence since Sierra Leone's civil war. Prisoners are on the run. There are some casualties with soldiers injured. On Sunday morning, Freetown was awoken to the sound of heavy gunfire. Gunmen attempted to break into the armory of the capital's main military barracks, but failed. A nationwide curfew is in place and a search is underway for the culprits. The government is calling on citizens to stay indoors, with President Julius Marabio saying security forces are in control of the situation. Indeed, there were coordinated attacks today against the safety and security of our people, um, against very sensitive uh, security installments across our country. So uh, these are very, very serious, very serious attacks that we take extremely seriously. But what, when it comes to uh, declaring it as an attempted coup of, of whatever sort, we will we'll make that determination. Since Bio's re-election in the widely contested presidential election in June, there has been mounting protest against the government. Rights group accuse security forces of crackdown on dissent with members of the political opposition and civil society actors arrested. The West African regional bloc ECOWAS is condemning what it describes as disturbances in Freetown. In a region that has seen eight coups in three years, some fear this is another attempt to take power by force. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.